Hey, and welcome to a three to five minute mix tip for today. I'm going to give you a two for one today. One of them is actually a mixing tip and the other one is a tracking tip. I'm setting up a session today in Pro Tools to set up headphone feeds for the musicians out in the live room. And I'm setting up discrete headphone mixes for four different musicians in the headphones queues. And I'm doing this in Pro Tools and I'm using the Apollo Flex Routing to do it as well, but we'll just focus on Pro Tools. I'm also going to show you a second tweak that will enable you to make modification to your preferences menu to make this a whole lot easier for next time. And thirdly, I'm going to show you a modification to the preferences to allow you to make your sends default to Unity. Because as you know, when you set your sends up, they usually default to negative infinity, which is zero, nothing. And the fader will default to the bottom of the channel strip. Okay, so let's get started with that. So my interface is made by I have two and I also have an and I use these to record the bands here at the studio. Okay, that being said, <laughs> so here's what you do what I was talking about. We're going to set up our sends and it's going to be a shortcut type of thing. So since I'm going to send all the individual feeds out to various headphone mixes for drums, bass, guitar, and so on. So we got drums here, we got overheads, we got a bass DI track, we've got a guitar track, and a room mic. So all you do is hold down Alt on a PC or Option on a Mac. And then you're going to select your output which we're going to send to a Q1 here. So while I'm still holding down Alt or Option, depending on which operating system that you're using, I'll hit Pre. And what that means is that this won't be affecting what I have going on for a mix here in the control room. It just means that that will be affecting what's going out to the headphone feeds. And that's what I want. So I've got four of these. And I'm going to set up the second one, still holding down Alt or Option. Go to Output, Q2, still holding down Option or Alt, Presend. Now, you notice that these faders, they defaulted to Unity, which is zero here. Now, I'm going to show you how to do this before we finish up here. So you go to the Pro Tools Preferences. And it's right here in the mixing tab. Oh, here it is. Sends default to negative infinity is what is checked. Now make sure that it is not checked. Now your sends are going to be able to Let's see if I check this. Let's go back here. Preferences. See if I check that. Click OK. Now, if I try to set these sends up again with Alt, Option, now I can go and set up the third set of headphones, set up the third feet here. You notice they all went down to, to negative infinity. That's not what I want. I don't want to do that. So again, you hold down the Alt or Option button, no send. You go back to the menu, Preferences, Mix tab, uncheck Sends Default to Negative Infinity. Okay, so this is going to work for everything, including your effect sends and all that stuff. So, all right, we're going to do this again. Output, Output to Q3 and 4. Again, Pre-Fader Monitoring. And there we go. Now, once the musicians get here, I can tweak the individual units. So if the drummer wants a little bit more kick or bass, I can do that right here. So I can slam it up a little bit here. And if the guitar player, see, I usually do drums in Q1, bass in two, guitar in three, and second guitar or vocalist in four. 
All right, so that's your tracking and mix tip today, three to five minutes. And uh, do like and subscribe, and please comment with any questions or comments, anything. All right, later.